Hello, everyone. Get ready for now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. First for the 76ers, we've got Chamberlain. A big game for this young man making his NBA debut. And it's Jackson at the power forward position. And for the Celtics, Jones is out there with Jones. We've got Russell. What a tremendous talent getting ready for his first NBA appearance. Then there's Sanders. And it's Howell in at the four slot. You knew that at some point the window for the group of Celtics that had won a title was going to close. I mean, it was inevitable. But last year seemed like they were going to go for one last hurrah as they added some depth and looked to reload for another run. Now here's Jones. The pass to Sanders. Back to Jones. Six to shoot. Tipped away. Walker against Sanders. Here's Greer. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And getting back to the Celtics and Rondo's injury, a lot of people expected them to start the rebuilding process. Ended up standing pat at the deadline, Steve. Even though there was, it seemed a lot of interest. You know, you want to give that group, KG and Pierce and Rondo, you want to give them another run. And they had their last hurrah. They didn't get it finished. And, and now you start the rebuilding project. So a lot of trades, a lot of movement over the summer. But I like the fact that they, they gave that club one more run. The Celtics shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. That free throw, no good. Boy, there were a bunch of problems for Philadelphia last season, and a lot of them stem from the inability to score. Uh, problems on offense typically make it harder for you to defend effectively, but also make it tougher for you on the road, too. That one is no good. And Clark, to the point you made about the 76ers, scoring was hard enough for them at home. But with 20,000 people booing you and playing on foreign rims, Steve, it got that much tougher for him away from Philadelphia. Well, let's be honest, Kevin. The whole season went down the drain with Andrew Bynum's injury because the team was going to be built around him. And, and when you can't throw the ball into the low post and you've given up your athletes on the perimeter, now you have no identity. And I think that was the issue for Philly last year. Now here's Sanders. Pass to Howell. Five on the clock. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Boy, that's embarrassing, guys. He's going to have a hard time living that one down later when they watch it on tape. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Jones kicks to Chamberlain. Pass to Jones. He feeds it to Chamberlain. Russell's there. From six feet, Chamberlain, no luck. So it's the Celtics now. Looking for the first basket of the game. And the basket by Jones. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Now, Kevin, here's what the Celtics head coach had to say when we spoke just a few minutes ago. There was one point in particular that he emphasized. This is a very fast team they're up against, and he told me that their goal will be to force them to earn their points in the half-court offense, not get loose in transition, guys. Thanks again, Doris. You know, last season, I think, officially brought the immediate championship aspirations of the Celtics to a close. The seventh seed in the East, dispatched in the first round by the Knicks. The rebuild was on in full cycle. Now here's Jones. Working on Jones. Jones dishes to Jones. Back to Jones. Celtics passing it around. Just five to shoot. Here's Sanders. Steps back and dreams the jump shot. Sanders has got his first points in this one. And back to the Celtics making the playoffs, sure, but you know, not like Steve back in 08 or, or 2010. Well, this has been a phenomenal era you know, with KG and Pierce that is now a thing of the past, but, but look, they've hoisted a championship banner very close to another. 
but it's just time to move on. And, and that's just the way it is in the NBA. These things go in waves, and the Celtics now in rebuilding mode. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. He dishes it to Jones. And he drops it in from the low post. For Philadelphia, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Jones. Walker launches a three, and Jones pulls it down. Makes the lead pass. Stolen by Walker. Outside, Jones. The dish to Chamberlain. Feeds to Walker. Here's the floater. Rebounded by Howell. The Celtics with the lead. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Just watch how well he defends, guys. I mean, he, they can always put him on an opposing team's best player and feel pretty good about the matchup. That's because, Steve, he can instantly read what his man's strengths and weaknesses are. And then he'll neutralize those strengths and exploit the weaknesses. And that one falls for Jones. I think it's fair to say that the top of the Eastern Conference has been getting tougher over the last few seasons. Unfortunately for the Sixers, they've headed the other direction. They've been going south, and it's part of why they were on the outside of the playoffs looking in. Good on both. And back to what you were saying, Clark, about uh, Philadelphia going through a lot of roster changes last year. You're right, in a season where a lot of other teams in the East put it all together. Steve, bad timing for Philadelphia. Yeah, bad time. And roster changes and injuries, of course. I mean, the big trade for Bynum looked like it was going to be uh, something that could help them get to the top of the East. But Bynum never played a single game for them. And so it's understandable why Philadelphia struggled. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Gets it to go. And that kind of power move has become a trademark for him. The Celtics have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Jones kicks to Jones. No luck. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. 76ers trailing. Back to Jones. Dishes it to Walker. Offensive rebound. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip in, well done. And that's, you know, a quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. Yeah, it's the anticipation more than anything. It's understanding where that ball is going before anybody else on the floor does. Here's Jones following the basket made by Will Chamberlain. Jones, the best on Owl. Jackson on him. A fader. Gets it to go. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Guys, the Celtics went from being a powerhouse in the east and middle of the pack last season, but they still protected their home court as well as anybody. Easy to find inspiration here with the parquet floor under your shoes and the banners hanging over top. And the 76ers making a change here. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. You do have to love the parquet floor here, as you said, Clark. A pride, certainly a factor last season, as the Celtics were able to finish Steve with a 27 and 13 record here at their home. And even though the Celtics would end up just as the seventh seed in the East, you knew they would control their home floor but just because of their veteran experience, their talent, their coaching. Uh, so they were real, really able to, to ride that home court into the playoffs. 
The 76ers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And he can't get the first one. Well, there's a new ownership group in Philadelphia as of 2011, and in this offseason, they pulled the trigger and brought in new leadership in the front office. Looks like they're jumping on the analytics bandwagon, hiring the former brain trust of the Houston Rockets. Cunningham, he's checked in for Jackson. No good at the strike this time. Second misses also. And back to the Sixers. I guess for the Wall Street ownership group, going mathematical is something they were, you know, be pretty comfortable with. That's something that a lot of teams are going to now, Kevin. Uh, you know, the, the new owners, a lot of them uh, businessmen, they want to turn to math to try to figure this whole thing out. Bottom line, though, is it, it's a combination. It's not just stats. It's talent, stats, chemistry, coaching, a lot of things that goes into winning. And here are the 76ers now. After the made shot from Sanders. Pass to Howell. From 17 feet out, and too long on the shot. The 76ers trail by three. Walker's shot is off. This touch has disappeared on him this court. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Jones with it. The feed now to Sanders. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Sanders has got six. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. And here are the 76ers now. Trailing by five. Kicks it to Cunningham. Shoots a fader, and that one's good. Celtics have gone six of nine, shooting it well. Jones kicks to Jones. The shot is off. And Philadelphia the other way now. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Shot, shot. That one wide left. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Powell passes to Jones. Nice ball movement by Boston. Offline with the baseline jumper. The 76ers trail by three. Chamberlain is screen. He kicks to Walker. Number 21. Takes it off the glass. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. So the Celtics call timeout their first. You know, it's always strange to see how a team will react when they lose one of their biggest stars. Last season, the Celtics were thought to be dead in the water when Rondo tore his ACL, but they actually rallied him, went on a winning streak after the injury. And it's a completely new group here for Philadelphia. So it's Boston now. Well, Clark, as you said, with Rondo and the Celtics, they would go on to win the next seven right after his injury. And overall, Steve played better than expected the rest of the way. Sometimes that's the way these things go, Kevin. A star player goes down. Everybody else kind of steps up. And uh, instead of feeling sorry for themselves, they use it as a rallying cry. And all those role players for Boston really picked up the extra slack. And I thought they made a great push uh, to end that season after the Rondo injury. Boston trailing. Here's Siegfried. Here's Havlicek. Siegfried. Back to Havlicek. Get the lead pass. Number 28. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Austin shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The first one falls. The 76ers making a switch here.
He hits both from the strike. 76ers trailing. Chamberlain with a screen on Barnett. The 10 footer. Rebound, Boston. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. He passes to Zick. Here's Barnett. John Havlicek on the wing. Lock at six. Unloads from 13. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Chamberlain got rebound number five here tonight. Number 28. And it's Barnett with the rebound. Well, he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. And the pass to six. Pass to Havlicek. Right at the free throw line. That doesn't go either for Havlicek. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Number 14. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. The first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Celtics have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Pass to Barnett. Nelson left side. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Nelson's got his first bucket in this one. Mark and Steve, this tug of war game continues. You know what? And they just keep flip flopping the lead again and again and again. Yeah, how about the, that last lead change, guys? That's number seven for the game. He feeds it to Chamberlain. Down to five on the shot clock. He makes the Johnny from the left block. Chamberlain got seven. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Ball's not loose. With one on the clock. That misses would have cut it had it gone in. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. 76ers lead by one. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Philadelphia. They've come out in attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing the ball repeatedly. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. So it's Philadelphia now. He dishes it to Cunningham. Feeds to Chamberlain. Backing in. Six on the shot clock. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it. The bump and the bucket. The 76ers shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. Well, you look at last season's numbers, guys. Down below 70% as a team from the line. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers help them win games. Celtics trail by three. Havlicek, the pass to six. Here's Barnett. Passes to six. The finger roll finish at the bottom. The 76ers shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Quarter number two, we're about a minute in. 
76ers moving the ball around. Outside, Jones. Just four to shoot. Jones off a pick from Cunningham. Here's Chamberlain and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Chamberlain got nine. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. Here's Barnett. Havlicek outside. He passes it to Barnett. Back to Havlicek. Havlicek right side. And that one's good. The 76ers lead it. Number 20, covered by Havlicek. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. Celtic shooting an efficient 53% from the field. And there's the pass to Sigfrey. Backs him down. Nelson outside. Pass to Barnett. Six to shoot. Trying his luck deep. Good D by Jones. Philadelphia leading by three. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Covered by Havlicek. Goes up with a strike. And Philadelphia making a change here. Here's Siegfried. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Takes it from 10. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. The Celtics shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Walker's checked in for Cunningham. <laughs> that one misses, so he goes one for two. The 76ers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. The dish to Jones. Again, the miss by Jones. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Siegfried, the pass to Nelson. That ties it up. Nelson's got his second bucket of the game to go. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, Jones dishes to Jackson. Back to Walker. The feet to Chamberlain. Knocked loose. Shot clock at five. And that's on a bound. Philadelphia will retain possession. Five to shoot. And it's Walker penetrating. And it's good. With time running down on the shot clock. And the 76ers lead by two. Well, the Celtics shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Passes it to six. Back to Jones. John Havlicek on the wing. Siegfried. Dishes to Russell. On the wing, Jones. Back to Russell. Rebound by the 76ers. Chamberlain got eight rebounds in this game. Jones drives in. Kicks it to Walker. True on the 14-footer. And it's a 4.76ers lead. Now Jones. He passes to Sidney. Boy, that's his second foul, and he does not want to pick up number three here. 
That'll mess your game up for sure. Howells check in for the Celtics. Ham will check with it. He's picked up by Walker. He kicks it to Russell. Lock at six. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. The Celtics have shot five of eight from the foul line. Well, last year, collectively, I mean, this team shot 74% from the free throw line. Pretty low number. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. That free throw missing. Cunningham, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers leading by three. Outside, Jones. They double him with Russell. Outside, Walker. Pass to Cunningham. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you'd think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin. So far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Here's Siegfried. The pass to Howell. He's against Cunningham. The shot's good from Howell. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. The 76ers have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Jones kicks to Cunningham. Walker. Here's Greer. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists in the game. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass, leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Celtics trail by five. Here's Siegfried. He feeds it to Havlicek. Pass to Siegfried. Back to Havlicek. Russell a screen on Walker. Four on the clock. Rejected by Walker. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And so it's Boston with it. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Celtics have hit six free throws in ten attempts. And he makes the first. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Philadelphia leading by three. Right side to Walker. Rebound, Boston. Russell's got his third rebound tonight. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Stolen by Jackson. Walker gets a screen from Cunningham. Walker goes in. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. There's the pick. Siegfried, the pass to Jones. Teardrop shot. Keeps it alive. Here's Havlicek. Goes up again, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. 
He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. That's good from Applejack. And the 76ers making a change here. Good from Havlicek. For Philadelphia, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Cunningham defended by Howell. He dishes it to Walker. Shot clock at six. Floats one up. The shot no good. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. For Boston, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine, all told. Count it from 12. Havlicek's got seven points for the quarter. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. No kidding for me. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time, guys. Yeah. Steve, so close. Well, such a seesaw affair back and forth. I mean, this has been an unbelievable game to watch. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. Some changes for Boston. Sanders comes in for Havlicek, and Jones subbed in for Siegfried. The 76ers shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Here's Jones. Passes it to Howell. Outside, Jones. On the wing, Jones. The 17-footer. They get it back. Russell kicks to Sanders. Feeds it to Jones. There's the dish to Sanders. He passes to Russell. Here's Howell. Defended by Cunningham. Second chance shot. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Howell's got six. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. The feed to Cunningham. Walker. Six on the shot clock. Good! Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Jones kicks to Jones. Sanders guarded by Walker. Jones backs down. No good with the elbow jump. The 76ers lead it. Dishes it to Cunningham. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Walker goes in. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And the 76ers making a change here. Jones has checked in. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Applejack outside. Let's it go from 14. That's good on the jump shot. Applejack's got now. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. It's Jones on the way. Six to shoot. The 76ers need to get off a shot. This one for three. A rebound by Bill Russell. Russell's got his sixth rebound on the night. Havlicek dishes to Sanders. Kicks it to Jones. Havlicek outside. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. 
76ers shooting very well, 56% from the floor here in the second quarter. He kicks to Jones. Right side, Jones. Let's go. Rebound, Boston. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Havlicek, the pass to Jones. He feeds it to Russell. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. And the Celtics lead by two. Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Right side to Walker from about 19 feet. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Boston on top, up two. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And welcome to halftime. We got a close game right now out in Boston. The Celtics fighting for control so far. Excellent bench production. The second string coming in, knocking down the shots. John Havlicek making his presence felt early. He's up to nine points and also helped out with two rebounds. And on the other side, the 76ers are also putting up quality numbers. Great ball control offensively. The turnover differential a major advantage right now. An impressive first half for Wilt Chamberlain. He's got nine points and is always looking to go to work on the boards. Thanks for tuning in. Now back to the action in Boston. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to Boston, Massachusetts. The skyscrapers all lit up overlooking downtown. Without question, John Havlicek displaying his skills. Yeah, he had a sensational first half, which was made, I think, even more significant given the amount of extra defensive help was paid to him. Yeah, but for him, it's nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, we don't expect anything less and I'll bet he continues to do the same kind of damage through the final two quarters. Pass to Jones. Leans from outside. Good. Jones has got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the 76ers. Jones kicks to Jones. Back to Jones. the pass to Jones. Outside Jones. Misses off the left iron. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. The 76ers have converted four of seven free throws on the night. Free throw is good, now leading by one. Chamberlain's checked in for Philadelphia. And so he makes both from the line. Boston shooting 47%, pretty solid. Jones kicks to Jones. Back to Jones. Pass to Howell. Jackson on him. Lock at six. Walker against Sanders. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Now here's Jackson. Here's Greer. Bill Russell grabs the miss. Russell's got seven rebounds in the game. Jones drives in. Shoots it. High quality look, and he sinks it. Jones has got six points. Yeah, he's got one of those shooting strokes that never changes, guys. I mean, even if a defender's you know, all over him, he just never seems to flinch. A great quality to have as a shooter. And his attitude, Steve, just his general poise and presence is something else you notice about him. He's really a calming influence over that team. 
I'm not sure about that shot, guys. The defense really all over. Left side, Jones. Back to Jones. Celtics passing it around. Get outside, get outside. It's Jones on the wing. Pulls up. And that misses. That would have put him up. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Great job. Take it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left them no choice but to foul there. For Philadelphia, they have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. First one falls for him. So Walker nails both of them. Here's Jones. He dishes it to Sanders. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Jones. Feeds it to Sanders. Outside, Jones. Offensive rebound, Celtics. And now with three minutes into the third quarter of play. Jones dishes to Sanders. Howell passes to Sanders. The feed to Jones. Just five on the clock. Off his leg. And the ref's whistling a kickball. And Philadelphia making a change here. Now a timeout called by Boston. Dish now to Jones. Kicks to Russell. Chamberlain on him. And shot on the way. And it's off the back rim. No good. Really good work defensively. This coach has to be happy with his team. Yeah, forcing that miss right there. Great effort. Chamberlain with a screen on Jones. Outside, Walker. Six on the shot clock. Dishes it to Cunningham. It's stolen by Jones. Jones drives in. Back to Jones. He passes to Sanders. He kicks it to Jones. Outside, Jones. Six to shoot. Shoots. No good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Outside, Walker. Here's Greer. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. He's got 10. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Now here's Jones. He feeds it to Sanders. Pass to Russell. Here's Howell, guarded by Chamberlain. Tries to snap the cold streak, and that one's good. Howell's got eight points. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. 76ers have gone two or four here to start the second half. There's the pass to Walker. From beyond the arc, the shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Jones drives in. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. 
and a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been the aggressors, and they've been tougher in the paint all game. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they've taken that ball to the basket and scored off dribble penetration. And the first one drops. The 76ers making a switch here. He ties it up. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Chamberlain defended by Howell. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Pass to Chamberlain. Shot clock at six. Number 28 defended by Jones. Cunningham slams it back in. And the 76ers lead by two. This is just great anticipation. The putback jam. Oh, he had some big time intentions right there. And those plays will give your team a huge boost. Here's Barnett. Back to Jones. Inside, number 28. Count it and the foul. Will Chamberlain picks one up. How about that going up strong? I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's giving up. It's attitude with him. And the 76ers with some changes. Russell, he's checked in for how. And Jones subbed in for Barnett. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. 76ers have gone 3 of 7 on field goal attempts here in the second half. Six on the shot clock. Drives it from nine. Here's Chamberlain, and he finishes nicely on the way. Chamberlain got 11 points. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Down low, number 14. The finger roll finish at the bucket. And it's a three-point 76ers lead. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded-out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Found it inside and <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. <laughs> That's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And Philadelphia making a change here. For Philadelphia, they've gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Here's Greer. Some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. Celtics have gone to somewhat so far, 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Great work getting in the shooter's face and then getting back to the boards to grab the rebound. And that one's good by Chamberlain. Guys, he's got the length to get to the rim, and when he gets there, you never see a clumsy or awkward finish out of him. Everything is smooth and fluid. Now here's Jones. Applejack outside. Jones. He dishes it to Sanders. Applejack outside. Clock at four. It's tipped. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. No luck. Nice D from Russell. Yeah, excellent interior defense there. Good rotations. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Havlicek kicks to Jones. Passes it to Howell. Jackson on him. 13 feet away. A shot's good from Howell. Howell's got four this quarter. The 76ers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third.
Here's Greer. Bill Russell grabs the miss. Boston trail. Feeds it to Sanders. Back to Havlicek. Kicks to Sanders. The dish to Havlicek. Jones. Havlicek outside. Five to shoot. He passes to Howell. For the lead. And he sinks the layup. Howell's got 12. And Clark and Steve, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets, and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither side really able to create much of a cushion at all. So, well, which team can make a little run here? We'll see. And the 76ers call time here. And the 76ers making a change here. Walker's checked in. Jones with it. Jones covering. Chamberlain back and down. The kick out to Walker. Just five to shoot. And the rejection by Russell. The Celtics with the lead. A big problem for the 76ers last season was finding late game offense. I mean, you look at a quarter by quarter breakdown of how they scored, and they were second to last in the league in fourth quarter points. Now here's Jones. Chamberlain with the block. Jones against Russell. And it's sent back by Russell. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Sanders dishes to Nelson. Now the feed to Jones. Applejack outside. Nelson guarded by Jackson. Here's Havlicek, playing soft on the front of the rim and drops. Havlicek's got 11 points. Well, back where you said, Clark, about the 76ers, they had some players that could create on their own, but when things began to tighten up in the fourth, it, it helped Steve to have different shot creators, and that just didn't happen for them. They were planning to play inside out, Kevin, when they had Bynum through the trade. They thought they could have a low post man who could dominate. But without him, they were really unable to find any sort of offensive rhythm with the rest of their talent. Here is Havlicek following the basket made by Will Chamberlain. Jones drives in. Havlicek outside. Takes the 13-footer. Again, the miss by Jones. Well, he's going without a field goal, and that certainly is below par for him. His team has still found a way to get it done. Walker the pass to Chamberlain. This is to Jones. Outside, Walker. He kicks it to Jackson. Jones, that's for two. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Celtics lead by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. And then how about the scoring they've gotten down on the post, really dominating that lane area. Now, here is Havlicek. It's Jones on the wing. Right side, Jones. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Jones has got three rebounds now in this one. He feeds it to Walker to take the lead, and right through it goes. Walker's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the 76ers. Havlicek outside. Pass to Jones. Here's Siegfried. The pass to Havlicek. 
Wilt Chamberlain with the rebound. Chamberlain got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Jones kicks to Walker. Back to Jones. Wide open. And he overshot that one, missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks from that range. The 15-footer, and the jumper is on the mark. And the Celtics lead by one. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. You know, quite honestly, Kevin and Steve, I mean, this game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Well, then let's root for overtime. <laughs> Why not? Here's Cunningham. The shot misses. Nice D from Russell. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And now Philadelphia on the break. Here's Greer. Rebound Boston. Russell's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Siegfried. Pass to Havlicek. Havlicek right side. And that's good off the glass that time. Now it's a three-point Celtic lead. Yeah, he's one of those guys that's special because he lives for the big moments. Fearless. I mean, he will take any big shot down the stretch. He wants the ball in his hands. But, Steve, we've got to give him credit for his skill as a distributor, too. I mean, he has a great feel for his teammates, and that leads to a lot of his assists and a lot of easy baskets for his team. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Now a timeout called by Boston. You know, he wants to tinker a little bit, and he's taking the time to do so right here. Yeah, I think you're right. He just didn't like some of the things he saw out there. A bit uncomfortable and wanted to talk it over. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. He laid out the X's and O's and told them, we're still alive, guys. We've just got to work together, trust each other, and play our backsides off. Kevin, we'll see if they've got enough in the tank to get over the top. Boston, no good that time either. 76ers have gone 2 of 7 from the field and what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Here's Russell. A huge slam, the perfect end of a fast break. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. And that one's good. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. Now, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Here's Siegfried. Back to Jones. Passes to six. Here's Howell. They find Jay on the way. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. You know, size-wise, this is not a great one-on-one -on -one matchup for him, but he got that shot to go. But you wouldn't know it by how he finished. That's a nice hoop there. And here are the 76ers now. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Jackson, he's checked in for Cunningham. Here's Jackson. Back to Walker. Good. Walker's got four this quarter. So it's the Celtics now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Outside, Jones. He dishes it to Sanders. Back to Jones. Six to shoot. Feeds it to Jones. And Jackson with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Oh, no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. For Philadelphia, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Jones dishes to Jackson. And Walker kicks to Chamberlain. 
to take the lead. And Boston with the rebound. Jones, the pass to Jones. Jones off a pick from Howard. Jones dishes to Sanders. Lock at six. They get a hand on it. Releases. Russell no up. The 76ers trail. Greer defended by Jones. There's the dish to Jones. Kicks it to Walker. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Shoots from the elbow. Rejected by Jones. That's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Boston shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Jones kicks to Jones. And he's finally able to knock one down. Jones has got four points this quarter. Well, since we hit half number two, he's finally come around. The first half was not his best, obviously. It's Jones on the wing. Chamberlain with a screen on Jones. Jones drives in. Chamberlain can't get it to go. Celtics leading by three. Here's Jones. Walker with the rebound. Walker's got three rebounds now in this one. He passes to Jones. Back to Walker. Six to shoot. Good D. Good D. To tie it up. Here's Chamberlain. And he banks in the lane. Chamberlain got 19 points. He is feeling it. A terrific percentage from the field. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Jones kicks to Jones. Back to Jones. Outside, Jones. Shoots from 14. The shot is off. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Outside, Walker. He kicks to Jackson. That puts them in the lead. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win, and... You'd hate to lose. Oof, boy, after all this, this energy that both teams have expended, uh, you're right, Clark. This would be a tough one to lose. Here's Jones after the made shot from Jackson. Jones, the pass to Jones. For three. Rebounded by Wilt Chamberlain. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Now, here's Walker. Greer, defended by Jones. And Jones pulls it down. Boston trailing. In low to Russell. Puts up the baby hook. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, totally collapsed the defense on him. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Celtic shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. There's the feed to Sanders. And Howell kicks to Sanders. Dishes to Jones. Outside, Jones. Four on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Off the left rim and out. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post part. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. That's good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Boy, it's been a poor defensive effort. When that ball has gone inside into the post, they've been in trouble. Yep, points in the paint clearly going against them now. Jones, no luck. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Jones in the post. Sanders cover. Greer. That's good. Now it's a 5-point 76ers lead. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. 
No good from Holly. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Here's Walker. It's rebounded by Howell. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. Yeah, they can't keep the status quo at this point. They've got to make some changes. Jones dishes to Russell. 14 feet away. Sanders. Here's Howell. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Howell's got four points in the quarter. Tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. And the 76ers call time here. They're up by three. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Forty-three left to play in the final quarter. Jones, the pass to Walker. Back to Jones. Right side, Jones. Six on the shot clock. Greer defended by Jones, and they force the shot clock violation. Three teams. Now, timeout called by Boston. They're losing by three. 119 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Possession. Jones kicks to Sanders. Come on, box it out, man. He feeds it to Jones. Pass to Sanders. Down to five on the shot clock. Get the shot. Misses off the right iron. Philadelphia shooting for the game at 42%. He kicks it to Walker. It's good! 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The pass to Jones. Left side, Jones. Connects! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Big time bucket there, Clark. And Kevin, the crowd is loving it. Oh, they know exactly how big that shot was. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so, too. It's tipped. Sanders with the steal. And a chance here to send it into overtime. Need a three. Screened by Russell. He's again, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Here's Walker, and he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by five. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's what you take. Well, this one's in the bag. I mean, I commend them for really putting forth the effort until the very end. But this thing's over. You know, sometimes you just have to throw up the white towel and let fate run its course so you can get on to the next game. Six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. So Philadelphia wins it. 
Well, Dean's played well, but these guys have the end. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hogg. Thank you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game.